Looks Thank you, Madam. Uh, I rise to speak on the Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order Amendment Bill 2020-22. Sir, the bill seeks to include Dalang community as a sub-tribe of Kuki of Sripura into the Scheduled Tribes list. But the problems lying at the core cannot be solved by just including more categories into the list. The government has to make progressive ch changes in order to ensure development for scheduled tribes population. And this I say so because scheduled tribes fall under the category of India's poorest people with 5 out of 10 fall falling into the lowest wealth bracket. And this poverty stricken state leads to all sorts of problems that they face, be it lack of education, dependency on forest produces, or resulting to mined activities. Here I would like to take the opportunity to mention that under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Mamuta Bandupadhyay, Government of West Bengal has been largely successful in abolishing mined activities by bringing about development in the district. Not only this, District with highest population of scheduled tribes like Birbhum, Bakura, Jhargram, Purulia and others have reflected a significant rise in education and employment level. And some women from scheduled tribes, scheduled uh, caste communities are receiving 1000 rupees per month under Lokhir Bhandar scheme as a symbol of women empowerment. And people above the age of 60 years are also receiving 1,000 rupees per month under Joy Johar scheme for scheduled tribes and Taposhili Bondhu for scheduled caste. This has to be ensured in all the areas dominated by scheduled caste and scheduled tribes across the nation. So, Madam, the unending measures related to land for tribal population began with the increasing pressure on extracting minerals from these areas. This led to displacement of the people from their own homeland. The growth led to springing up of industries by depleting forests and thus worsening the scenario. Currently, the status of our tribal men and women affected by rampant industrialization is not even being studied. And this clearly depicts the lack of concern from the government's end. The railway connectivity project in the northwest areas are being opposed by numerous group of tribal people because they are fearful of being uprooted from their own cultural habitat and with no secure means of livelihood. So why should any person be fearful in a democratic country. Just ponder upon this question and I would like to put forth my views that it is because the government is taking steps which instead of helping people is affecting them negatively. So, uh, Madam, I would like to request the Honourable Minister that before using or getting the lands of tribals, the, the permission from Panchayat ends must be made compulsory and government should take necessary steps in this regard. And so because of economic backwardness and insecure livelihood, the tribal face health problems such as prevalence of diseases like malaria, cholera, tuberculosis, diarrhea and jaundice, problems associated with malnutrition like iron deficiency and anemia, high infant mortality rates, low levels of life expectancy, etc. The government must allocate more funds and set up at least one major hospital having best facilities in all the remote areas inhabited by the tribes. Madam, the degradation of the natural environment, particularly through the destruction of forest and a rapidly shrinking resource base has had its impact on the status of women. The opening of the tribal bills to mining, industries and commercialization has exposed tribal men and women to the ruthless operation of the market economy, giving rise to consumerism. This must be combated by promoting women's self-help group and MSMEs which doesn't impact environment negatively. And the most critical and delicate problem faced by the tribal population of the nation is related to their identity. Increasingly, the traditional institutions and laws of tribals are coming into conflict with modern institutions which create apprehensions among the tribals about preserving their identity. Extinction of tribal dialects and language is another cause of concern as it indicates an erosion of 
tribal identity in certain areas. So government must go beyond the listed language and promote the protection of hundreds of languages spoken in the country. But along with that, I sincerely believe that English must be taught to not only scheduled tribes, but every citizen, at least the youth or children of India. The language is very critical to enhance their pool of knowledge and required for every government examination as well. Sir, Madam, I would uh, like to conclude by saying that the object of the bill is very positive, but the government cannot shrug off its duty by doing just this. It has to address the real problem and bring about uh, positive changes. And government should bring a comprehensive bill to include more tribes into the list after a good research. Thank you, sir. And I, yeah, on behalf of my party, All India Trinamool Congress, support the bill. Thank you, ma'am.